What will happen when Kim Jong-un dies? What would a post-Kim North Korea look like? In today's video, we will talk about the theories behind this eventuality. Please stay with us till the end of the video and support the work of the author. We all know Kim Jong-un, the supreme leader of North Korea, one of the most secretive countries in the world. In fact, the country is so cut off from the rest of the world that it's often referred to as the Hermit Kingdom. The outside world perceives it as an oppressive dictatorship with a dynastic leadership as the Kim family has ruled the country for generations. You have probably seen Kim Jong-un on TV threatening other countries, meeting with other controversial political figures like Trump and Putin, or launching test missiles. As secretive as the country is, Kim Jong-un always seems to find his way into the headlines. In 2020, however, he made headlines for something much different. He disappeared for several weeks. He wasn't seen in public and the North Korean government maintained silence on the matter. His disappearance sparked international discussion, with some considering the possibility that he may have died. One popular theory was that he had contracted the coronavirus, which ran rampant that year, causing him to self-isolate. Other theories contemplated the idea that maybe he had gone into a coma. Such discussions always circled back to the same question. What next? What's in store for North Korea if the Supreme Leader passes away? Kim Jong-un casually reappeared at the opening of a fertiliser factory after a few weeks, putting all such discussions to rest. However, the thought experiment is an interesting one. The whole reason why people began suspecting that he went missing in 2020 in the first place is that he was not publicly seen at his late grandfather, Kim Il-sung's birthday. This event marks the most important calendar year event in North Korea because Kim Il-sung was the country's founder and first supreme leader when it was founded after World War II in the 1940s. He was so popular with the people that he became known as the Eternal President, essentially making North Korea the only necrocracy in the world, which is any country that operates under the rules of a former dead leader. Why does the Supreme Leader's potential death weigh so heavily on international politics? Why are we even interested in this hypothetical in the first place? Well, the answer is simpler than you may think. North Korea is one of the few countries in the world to possess nuclear power, and leaders like Kim Jong-un aren't afraid to threaten other countries with their atomic arsenal. In fact, in January 2018, he did just that during his New Year's address when he said, The entire United States is within range of our nuclear weapons and a nuclear button is always on my desk. This is reality, not a threat. Despite his claims of it not being a threat, it very much comes off as one. When a country's leader has such inclination and power to cause mass destruction, the people of the world would inevitably be concerned when he decides to disappear for several weeks. And, as we are about to see, his potential successors wouldn't exactly act any differently from him during nuclear crises. The leadership in North Korea revolves entirely around the mythology and bloodline of the Kim family. 
The successor to the first supreme leader, Kim Il-sung, was his son, Kim Jong-il. When Kim Jong-il passed, his son, Kim Jong-un, took over. The Kims are given a near-godlike status by the North Koreans. The citizens worship him because the only alternative is challenging him and ending up in a concentration camp where you are bound to die. Presenting the Kim family as gods to the general public is one of the reasons why Kim Jong-un can mysteriously disappear. Disclosing the real reason for his disappearance would risk making him look weak or vulnerable. The worship and status given to the Kim family inevitably make Kim Jong-un's successor someone from the Kim bloodline in the event of his death. But who exactly would take on the role? King Jong-un does have children. However, they are too young to be part of the discussion for his potential successors. He has two older brothers, King Jong-chul and half-brother King Jong-nam. Kim Jong-nam was allegedly assassinated by Kim Jong-un in Malaysia in 2017, while Kim Jong-chul has already expressed his disdain for politics. Kim Jong-un's sister would likely become supreme leader. With his two brothers out of the picture, who does that leave behind? Experts seem to agree that the most likely choice for Kim Jong-un's successor is his younger sister, Kim Yo-jong. Known for being ambitious yet ruthless, Kim Yo-jong has been constantly watching and learning by her brother's side for several years. The only problem with this theory is that due to the secrecy of the country, the outside world isn't sure whether the citizens of North Korea would be on board with a female leader. Since they aren't exactly up there in terms of progressiveness, this could be a real constraint that could eliminate Kim Yo-jong as a potential heir. Assuming that the people of North Korea have no qualms with a female leader, could we expect a less ruthless or somewhat reformed version of the country with her as supreme leader? Would they cooperate more with the rest of the world? And would her rule make life any better for the North Koreans? Probably not. Experts believe that not much would change. The leadership dynamics in North Korea are such that to rise to the top, you must be ruthless. And to stay there, you must be even more ruthless. Even Kim Jong-un had nearly 300 or more distant relatives and other officials executed, in addition to his half-brother, after he came into power so a change of regime wouldn't necessarily bring significant reform or change in North Korea. Kim Yo-jong would likely be a ruthless leader. All of this is even further supported by the fact that experts have perceived Kim Yo-jong as a cold and ruthless woman. According to the New York Post, Kim Yo-jong would be the hermit kingdom's most brutal dictator if she were to succeed her brother. Retired US Army Colonel David Maxwell said, My speculation, given the reputation and history of the family, is that she would rule with an iron fist. The nature of the regime in North Korea demands she be ruthless, especially in the first few years. He went on to say, she may prove herself fiercer and more tyrannical than her brother, father or grandfather. Her possible succession would likely be accompanied by missile launches or some other sort of probation to establish her credibility both domestically and internationally, as well as purges in the government to get people loyal to her in key positions. Another possibility that has been floated 
is that the military might seize control of North Korea from the Kim family, effectively imposing martial law on the land. This outcome would have seriously violent implications, with the possibility of civil war not out of question. As we've already discussed, the Kim family is held in high regard by the North Korean public, so they may be very resistant to such a major institutional change. However, other experts have chimed in to express how the possibility of a military coup or civil war inside North Korea in the event of the supreme leader's death is unlikely. The reason being that the military top brass of the country enjoys a very comfortable life. They understand that challenging the status quo would put them in danger. Let's assume for a second that the military does take over. How exactly would that pan out? The recurring theme for North Korea's potential future is that all of the possibilities seem bleak. I doubt that any power-hungry general in the North Korean military would be any better for the country's well-being than the Kim family. Who's to say they wouldn't do more missile tests or further intensify the nuclear program? Who knows what kind of oppression and misery the North Korean public would be in for in the case of a military dictatorship? That's the problem with this whole discussion. Nobody knows. Given how secretive and cut off the country is from the rest of the world, we can do little more than speculate. Please feel free to share your thoughts and opinions on both North Korea and its leader, Kim Jong-un. Please don't forget to hit the like button and if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel if you're enjoying our content. Thank you for joining us today.